Well, switching gears to the big screen, it's been months since we went to the movie theaters, but today is a new day. Director Sean Hobbs is here to explain what's going on in your Friday edition of Director's Chair. Hey, Sean. Thank you. Hey, everybody. So I'm going to tell you which theaters reopen today and the movies they're playing, but that doesn't mean that I recommend you should go. I don't know if we should go. I mean, the movies are my favorite place in the world, but is it really safe yet? I don't know. If you do go, please be safe. Please follow their safety protocols, because if we mess this up, they're just going to have to close down again, and who knows for how long. So, here we go. In addition to the theaters that have already been open, like the drive-ins and the Hippodrome, reopening today is the Regal Jewel in Waco, the Regal Theater in Killeen, the Cinemark in Harker Heights, and the Synergy in Copperas Cove. I don't think you really know what a bad day is. But you're going to find out. Now, new movies playing at those theaters, Unhinged. A thriller with psycho Russell Crowe, Road Rage, stalking a fellow driver. Reviews are okay for that. For the first time in forever, I felt normal. Also, Words on Bathroom Walls, a drama about a schizophrenic teen in love. It features Andy Garcia and Walton Goggins. I'm no good for you. You're perfect for me. At some of those theaters, Tulsa, about a guy who meets his nine-year-old daughter. It features John Schneider. You ain't got my money. You got to walk the plank. And the crime flick Cutthroat City, directed by Wu. Tang's RZA, about a crime gone wrong in post-Katrina New Orleans. Shamik Moore and T.I. star in that with Terrence Howard, Ethan Hawke, and Wesley Snipes. Then besides those new movies, those theaters also showed a bunch of great old classic movies. Modern classics, too, like Inception. So check those listings for more. And again, please be safe. Or there are lots of new movies at home today, too. A novel system of energy. Alternate currents. On demand only is Tesla, Ethan Hawke, and an avant-garde look at the life of inventor Nikola Tesla, also with Jim Gaffigan. Oh my lord, I've inherited a gay bar. Also on demand, Stage Mother. Jackie Weaver is a Texas conservative who inherits a drag bar with Lucy Liu and Adrian Grenier. Keep pushing people down. They rise up. Plus the 24th, the true story of an all-black infantry that revolted in 1917 Houston with Empire's Trey Byers. The Vanished, Thomas Jane and Anne Heche searching for their missing daughter with Jason Patrick. And the horror western, The Pale Door, which has a gang of outlaws running into a coven of witches at a brothel. Yeah. What's this button do? On a streaming, Netflix has The Sleepover, about kids on a spy adventure to rescue their parents, with Malin Ackerman, Ken Marino, and Joe Manganiello. Also, the new animated series Hoops, about a foul-mouthed high school basketball coach. Then Amazon Prime has Chemical Hearts, a new teen romance with Riverdale's Lily Reinhardt. And Disney Plus has a big one that they were going to put in theaters originally, the one and only Ivan. You're a silverback. He terrifies humans. <laughs> You're not terrifying. It is a fable about a gorilla and his animal pals who long to escape captivity. Brian Cranston stars in that with digital animals voiced by the likes of Sam Rockwell, Danny DeVito, Angelina Jolie, Helen Mirren, and Shaka Khan. See you next time from the director's chair.